Hi, this is Abby Jo at Forgotten Leaf Farms, and today in the kitchen, we're going to be making zucchini carrot fritters. They are so good, and your family is going to love them, and they're really easy. And they'll also be using up all of that zucchini that you have on your countertops. So let's get to it and make zucchini carrot fritters. Hello everyone, this is Abby Jo at Forgotten Leaf Farms. We're a family of nine, living a slow and sustainable lifestyle. We believe in the art of cozy living and the beauty of everyday life. Come join us as we find adventures in simple living. So we're ready to cook and we've got some carrots, zucchini, eggs, cheese, flour and some spices and we're just going to whip this up and make ourselves some fritters. Don't worry about writing the recipe down. You can print it out with the link in the description below. Alright, so you're going to take the zucchini and grate about three and a half cups. To that you're going to want to add one cup of shredded carrots, two large eggs, and half a cup of flour. To that, I add my spices. A teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and about a quarter to one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I also add in a quarter cup of shredded cheese. Put mixture into a large bowl, and you're gonna stir it all up until it's mixed. So, here we go, we're ready to go. It's all mixed up, so let's go and fry it now, okay? You're going to want to add about a quarter cup of oil onto the bottom. Alright, so you're going to turn this on to a medium-high heat. Okay, I think the oil is about ready. So I just use little spoonfuls. And you can hear it popping. Ready? So I fry those for about two minutes two to three minutes on each side until they're just really golden and crispy. So um, I use just sometimes these uh, old linen napkins I have and they're stained and I've used them before but I just put them in here and then as I'm pulling out the fritters, it just absorbs the oil and then is nice and crispy. Let them sit and get some of that oil drain off and salt them real good and you're ready to go. So we packed everything up and we went out for a picnic so we stopped at a really cute little local park and we're just going to have some snacks and I'll show you what's in our picnic basket. We got the fritters that we made earlier, we got some of our heirloom tomatoes, of course some good iced coffee and these little treasures I'll have to show you right here are oatmeal meringues and they are really good. They're honey oatmeal meringues and they're gonna be coming to the blog really soon. Mom, there's a crab fillet or something. Yeah. No, you probably should put it. Mm. Oh, those are good. Hmm. Little bites. Hey, Tommy. You ready? Yeah. 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 
<laughs> sometimes um, moms think it's hard to get out and it is and sometimes you know it's easier just to stay inside or get things done but I really think it's important to just get outside and have fun and get some fresh air every day and one of those ways is keeping a picnic basket or a basket in your kitchen and just filling it with some snacks and just heading out and doing it and it doesn't have to be anything complicated I mean check this out she's eating her tomatoes and ooh, and she loves the fritters mm, those are good so just pack up some vegetables some fruit and uh, a nice coffee for yourself and get outside and, and just enjoy the beauty of nature. My two favorite things to do with zucchini are zucchini fritters and chocolate zucchini bread. And I would love to know in the comments below what are the, your favorite things to make with zucchini. We make a new video every week on adventures and simple, cozy living, and food from scratch. Thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button.